Hi. Now in this question, we've got to find then the equation of the tangent on the curve x equals cos of 2y plus pi at the point where x is naught and y is pi upon 4. Now, in order to find the equation of a tangent to a curve, first of all, we need to get the gradient at that point on the curve. So, we need to find normally dy by dx. But this is unusual because what we've got here is x equals instead of y equals. x equals cos of a function of y, 2y plus pi. So how are we going to find dy by dx? Well first of all what we're going to do is find dx by dy. And when we found dx by dy, doesn't seem to be working here, there you go, dx dy. When we found dx dy what we can do is invert what we've got to get dy by dx. So that means that we need to be able to differentiate with respect to y the cosine of 2y plus pi. And to do this requires the chain rule. Let me just explain very briefly okay, that we need to find dx dy. And to differentiate the cosine of 2y plus pi, because we've got an extra function in here, we can get around this by the chain rule which is dx by d something, I'm going to call it dt, as long as we multiply it by the same value that I put here, dt, over dy. It's as if these cancel out and leave us with dx over dy. The chain rule then, okay? So let's just highlight that. And if you're unfamiliar with the chain rule, just go on my website. Plenty of tutorials there on the chain rule. Now, what we're going to do is essentially let what we've got here, x equal cos t, where t is the 2y plus pi. So, Basically then, when we're trying to find dx dy, we've got to find dx by dt. And you should know that if x equals cos t, the differential of cos t is minus sine t. So that's going to be minus the sine of t. But instead of t, I'm going to write 2y plus pi. Okay, so we just put that in as 2y plus pi. And I would suggest that you put all of this in square brackets. Now we have to multiply it by dt dy. t is 2y plus pi, so if we were to differentiate this with respect to y, differentiate 2y, you get 2. And if you differentiate pi, because it's a constant, it's going to go to 0. So we're just left with 2. So you can put that in brackets there, 2. All right. So, all we need to do now is just tidy this up, and we've got minus 2 times the sine of 2y plus pi. So, that's dx dy. We want dy by dx, so all we need to do is invert this. And we can say that this is minus 1 all over 2 sine of 2y plus pi. Okay? This is minus 2 sine 2y plus pi all over 1. Invert it to get dy dx and you get 1 over the value. I put the minus though out the front of the fraction. It looks better that way. So we've got dy by dx which gives us the gradient at any point x or y on the curve. Now what we've got here depends on y. So we can now say when y is pi upon 4. So if we say that, when pi, sorry, when y, I should say, equals pi upon 4, we can work out that the gradient dy by dx is going to equal minus 1 divided by 2 sine of 2 times y, 2 times pi upon 4, that would be 2 pi upon 4, plus the pi here. Now, 2 pi upon 4 is a half pi. 
half pi plus pi is one and a half pi or three pi over two. And you can either type this into the calculator, make sure you're in radians mode if you do it, the sine of three pi over two, or you should know it just straight off. It comes to minus one. So two times minus one is minus two, and then with this minus you're going to get plus a half. So dy by dx turns out to be a half. So check that out in your calculator if you're unsure. Make sure your calculator is in radians mode. Okay, now that we've got the gradient, we should be able to find the equation of the tangent. Let's just come down here now. We can say that therefore the equation of the tangent, just give a little intro here, okay, at naught pi upon 4. What's that going to be? Well, we're going to use y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. y1 is pi upon 4 equals m, the gradient, which is a half, multiplied by x minus x1, x1 being 0. So obviously that's just x in the bracket there. Now we need to get this in the form y equals ax plus b. So I need to add pi upon 4 to both sides. So therefore we have y equals 1 half x plus pi upon 4. So you can see that we have this in the form y equals ax plus b where we have a equal to a half and b equals pi upon 4. Okay, well I hope you've been able to follow that and that brings us now to the end of this particular question.